Hey, what's up? It's Madeline Paquette, and today we're talking decanting. Decanting is one of those things that's good to practice on pretty much all red wines, especially cheap red wines. Now, I have three methods of decanting that we can try out today to see how they vary from one another. One is the classic method, the glass decanter. Two is a popular alternative, the aerator. And three, a crazy method called hyperdecantation, which we will try eviscerating this bottle of Cabernet with my magic bullet. So the thing about wine is that it is a volatile substance. From the moment it is bottled until you buy it and pour it into a glass, it is in a constant state of change, somewhere in between yum yum delicious and, you know, vinegar. So one of the things that we do when we put the wine in the bottle is to slow that process down a lot so that by the time you get the wine, it's actually still tastes pretty good. The problem is when you throw it in a bottle that has, you know, that much oxygen, there really isn't a whole lot of O's, oxygen molecules, to work with inside this wine. So it starts grabbing other things like sulfur molecules to create complex compounds. When you pour it into a glass, that wine can smell and taste maybe a little bit closed or a little bit funky right out of the bottle. This wine to me smells pretty fresh and fruity right out of the bottle. Uh, there's a lot of explosive flavors coming out of the glass right away, which is actually pretty surprising. It is an older wine, 2014. It's a six year old bottle of wine. It's been sitting in there for six years. Okay, anyway, uh, I think nose wise, I did get a little bit of sharpness right on the nose, maybe in the realm of uh, my, maybe like a peppery smell, like a capsicum, but let's give it a taste and see how the texture feels. Cause that also is something I find that decanting helps with too. It's a pretty tasty wine. I will say it really hits my palate in a sharp manner. It tastes uh, really rigid and sharp, and the tannins are a little bit funky, tannins being that drying part of the wine. All right, next experiment. Through the decanter, just by increasing the exposure to oxygen, we should be adding a whole lot more of oxygen to the scene and probably changing uh, very slightly the smell and the taste uh, texture of this wine. So uh, let's give it a sniff and a taste. On the nose, actually, yes. It's much more subtle actually in its smell. I felt like it really plowed out of the glass to me at first, and now it's kind of pulling back into the glass, interestingly enough. Uh, originally I got sort of notes of different of pepper and red pepper, and obviously there was berry flavors too, but now it has this sort of subtle hue, like overtone of chocolatey. It's more, it's more chocolatey. Yes, I still get a little bit of that red pepper, but I get more chocolate and more like deep, Dark, berry flavors, uh, let's give it a try. I would say palette wise, not too dissimilar to the wine right out of the bottle, um, but not quite as abrasively sharp on my palate. And that was just pouring it into this decanter and then into my glass. If you let a wine sit for a while in a decanter, it can do amazing things. For those of you who don't have the storage space to to keep a glass decanter or you're afraid of breaking it and you have cats or something like that. Um, these wine aerators are actually pretty handy dandy. They do make a funny sound though, check this out. So, gurgles a little bit, let's give it a sniff. Interesting. Now, instead of being more chocolatey, I get more berry flavors, like really, and this is, we're talking, <laughs> this is pretty subtle, but it's, to me, it's more cherry. It's more black cherry. It's more uh, blackberry, those kinds of things. That red pepper note that I was getting right on out of the bottle is a lot more removed. Let's give it a taste. I would say just pouring it into the decanter may have actually done more to aerate this wine than the Venturi did because this one still has a little bit of harshness and sharpness on uh, the wine itself. Um, the tannins are a little bit more present. There's a little bit more of that spiciness that I got similar to how it tasted right out of the bottle. All right, last method, 
the one we've all anxiously been waiting for. Throwing my wine in a net in a Nutribullet is a crazy and ridiculous idea. I do this in the name of science, guys. Put that guy in there, make sure it's properly aligned, and... That is some hyper decanted wine. So many wine snobs are just stressed out watching this right now. You would never, ever, ever, ever put a fine bottle of wine in a blender like that. That is just absolute ludicrous. Let's give it a smell. Oh my God. It smells like I killed it. It's... <laughs> It smells like green leaves. Like there's a very distinct stemmy flavor that comes through. There's this weird, it's almost like I separated the alcohol <laughs> from the, the fruit flavors and it just smells like, like almost like vodka. Ugh, it's a stemmy vodka smell. All right, let's give it a taste. On the palate, ironically, that hyper decanting method does actually smooth out the flavors quite a bit. And I get this sort of washy palette of just like warm, sweet berry wine. Now, in terms of the overall taste, I think because I rely so much on my nose for flavors and that kind of a thing, it really kind of falls flat, but it did really smooth out all those tannins and anything sharp in this wine at all. It's, it's basically turned it into like you know, this is Play-Doh wine. There you have it, decanting. Yes, it can improve uh, the taste of wine quite a bit, especially right out of the bottle. I love classic glass decanters. They look beautiful and they're actually useful. Um, but for those of you who have small space, I highly recommend uh, wine aerators. I love these tools. They're awesome, especially if you're desperate like me and you need your glass of wine right now. <laughs> this is a great alternative. Actually, we sell these in the store if you want to check them out. So. That's my story for you today on decanting. What are you drinking? What should I be drinking next? And until next time, peace out.